Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalo Z. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your photos or raster images into a vector in Photoshop. And you can use this vector in poster or in uh, teacher design and you can use this anywhere you want. So let's get started. Okay, let's create a new document first. Go to the file and then click on the new and i'm going with white 2500 and height 2000 pixels and a resolution 300 now just click on the create okay and now import your photo go to the file and select the place embedded and place your photo and reposition it Okay, I think let's go with this. Let's go with this. Okay. Now, uh, I want to isolate the subject from the background. So you can, uh, so you need to select the subject. So for this, you can use any selection tool, uh, like object selection tool, quick selection tool, any uh, any selection tool you want. I'm going with uh, the subject select option, and now just click uh, create a mask here okay that's great okay now convert it to a smart object that's very easy okay now delete the background layer just click on the delete key that's good now go to the filter uh, stylist and click on the oil paint option and look at this here i'm going with five stylization 5.0 clean cleanliness 3.0 scale 0 0.1 and then restore detail 0, 0.0 and uncheck the lightening option and look at this it will give you a little bit of painting effect i think look at this press ok right now and see the effect that's good okay then again go to the filter and go to the filter gallery option and here in the artistic panel select the poster is and here i am going with s thickness 10 then is intensity 0 and posterization 6 okay now press okay and then go to the filter blur and click on the surface blur okay look at this radius 20 pixels and threshold 10 pixels and now press ok okay it will give you a little bit uh, the skin will be smoother now okay now i want to copy this oil painting effect uh, again and place it above the surface layer for this press and hold option or alt key and click on the oil paint and now release it just above the surface blur okay that's done okay now i want to add some sharpness here for this go to the filter sharpen and select the unsharp mask and here i am going with amount 150 radius 8 and threshold 8 and now just press okay that's done now create a levels layer and then create a huge saturation layer and bring the saturation down to minus 100 percent that's good uh, and at the end now just create a posterized layer and this is very important here okay look at this okay this value will determine the color of your determine the number of colors of your picture so if you put two it means there will be only two colors look at this white and black so three just white black and a gray and if you put four just it will add a light gray here okay you can add okay i'm going with okay let's go with four that's fine now come back to the levels layer double click on this icon and now with this three slider you can control the depth of the color okay look at this you can 
can't see. Okay, I'm happy with this, but I want a little bit lighter color here. Uh, so for this, just create a new layer here and change the blending mode to overlay. Pick white brush for light color and just paint like this. okay that's good it's nice want to paint here and there maybe here just want little bit details in the hair and the hat also This is too much, I think. Okay, for the dark color, just paint with the plug brush like this. I think this is, I think now this is looking really good to me. Oops. I think now it looks really, really great. So that's it. Okay, now just add a clipping mask here. Okay, so it's done. So now I think it looks really beautiful, uh, but it's still it's not vector. You can say this is a vector effect or cartoon effect, but it's still. Uh, this is not vector still it's raster image so we want to convert this into a vector in this part of the video okay now let's save this one as a psd for further use okay let's save it as a vector effect done now i want to merge all this layer into a single layer for this just select all the layers okay and then just you can press command and d or right click on the mouse and select mars layer okay that's good okay now go to the select and select color range that's good and select your sampled colors fuzziness zero percent and with the hydro part tool select any color i'm going uh, I'm gonna select first black okay now pick any selection tool and just right click on the mouse in the selection area and click on the and select the make work path and tolerance 2 to 3 pixels click on the ok and then add solid color that's it now if you hide the posterize layer you can see look at this it's really really great okay now if you pick the selection tool direct selection tool and look at this you can see the anchor point here and you can easily manipulate this this is very very easy and effective okay so this layer is just for one color black but we have other free colors also okay so uh you have to follow the same method go to the select color range and this time i wanna select the uh, dark gray, gray color press okay then right click on the mouse and select uh make work part tolerance two pixels add solid color here that's good then again go to the select color rinse light gray press ok make work path add solid color 
and then the last color the white make work path add solid color that's it look at this it's almost done the final task okay press and hold command key or control key and click on the posterize one layer and then the same thing make work path and add a solid color okay this time add a dark color you can go with black or dark gray okay and now just delete the posterize layer and look at this so you have all the selections as a vector layer okay that's done okay another thing you can change the color of every layer just double click on the layer and change the color like this look at this it's look really great so it's very easy you can change any color like this look at this isn't it great look at this okay the last thing you need to save this file okay so for this go to the file and then uh, click on the save a copy and now just select here Photoshop EPS file and just click on the save option make sure you have select the include vector data and just press ok so that's it and now you can use this vector in your any project like poster design or also in t-shirt design so yes that's it so if you love this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe